guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Shores and today's video is going to be this royal purple and acid green. So let's get started. I'm starting out with the base shadow as always. My eyes are already primed and now I'm just applying MAC Blanc type with a Sigma large fluff brush all over my eyelid. I'm now going in with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I'm taking this on a Hakuhodo J5522. I like to use a more peach colored or really any color closer to your skin tone color when you're using purples because purples don't transition very nicely into your skin without making it look bruised. So I do recommend either going for a peach or even more of a tan transition color. I'm applying this on my upper lash line as well as the lower lash line and blending out well. I'm now going in with a Hakuhodo J146 and Makeup Geek's Fairy Tale, and we're gonna throw this all the way through the crease from the outside to the inner edge Make sure you're blending this pretty well since we are blending it into peach, which is pretty close to the opposite of the color wheel. And then don't forget to add a little extra on that outside edge of your eye. It's gonna set us up for success later on when we add even more purple. Now we're gonna take even more fairy tale and I'm taking that on a Sigma pencil brush and I'm running that into the actual like contour of your lower lash line. So where it kind of creates that little bag where the actual, your actual like eyeball is. Now I'm going in with Urban Decay Urban and I'm taking this and a MAC 242 and I'm applying this all over the lid since I want this to be really purple and I like that this has a bit of a metallic finish. So go ahead and pat that on. I ideally would have probably used a sticky base here, which I didn't. So you might wanna put a eyeliner down or something a little more sticky just to make that even more vibrant. I'm now just blending that lightly because we're going to add some more shadows and this will be easier. I'm now going in with Sugar Pills Poison Plum, which is one of my all time favorite purples. And I'm taking that on a Hakuhodo J5529 and I'm going through the crease. You're probably gonna get a little fallout as you can see that I did. And just make sure you brush that off pretty quickly if your makeup is already done because you don't want that to be left underneath your eyeball. I'm now going in with Curfew and that's just going to blend the Poison Plum into the Urban, and I'm also going to be taking that Curfew color along the eye bag on the lower lash line, and I'm using a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush for this step. I'm then going to take a Sigma E25 brush that's clean and just blend the edges just to soften it up a little bit. I'm now going in with Makeup Geek's Wisteria with that same brush, and don't really apply it here. I'm showing you so you won't be confused in the next step, but you might as well not apply it to your upper lash line, but do apply it to your lower lash line along that kind of color that we have going on. And now I'm taking Urban Decay's Jilted and I'm applying this to the crease. So you can see Wisteria kind of gets covered here, so you could skip the step right before. It's really up to you. And I'm taking that on a Hakuhodo J146 and blending that through the crease and as you can see, straight up covering wisteria. And I do run it down along my eye bag as well. So I like the way that this worked with the pink, it's up to you. I'm now going in with the Sephora's Fresh Limeade Eyeshadow Liner, whatever it is. And I'm running that along my waterline and then on my tear duct area, basically wherever we had the blank space on our lower lash line. And then I'm taking a Sigma E32 and Sugar Pills Acid Berry and pressing that right along the top. I think this got really fun right there. Now I'm taking Urban Decay's Thrash and I'm applying that right to the inner tear duct area. Now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Ice Queen and I'm using that to highlight the inner corner as well as my brow bone. However, if you have hooded eyes, I would skip the brow bone here and go for something that's less shimmery. Now I'm going in with the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pin in Black Noir and I'm putting this right along my lash line and not really being too careful because as you can see, I'm going to go in with a Sigma angled liner brush and blend that together. I just wanted to darken my lash line a little bit before I actually applied any lashes and this gives us a really nice soft look. Go ahead and curl your lashes as well as add some mascara to the upper lashes. And now I'm grabbing the NYX colored mascara and this is in perfect pair and I'm applying this 
to basically wherever the green is on your lower lash line, apply it to those lashes. I'm now grabbing the Nubu Sun Bella Lashes. I'm popping those on for a little extra drama. And that's going to finish our eye look. I paired it with the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Three Witches Lipstick, but you could obviously go for a nude lip since this is a pretty intense look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you can also subscribe for more videos. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you later.